What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Extreme Daily Drivers where we are always balling a budget and wrenching in our garage. It's going to be a nice short video today, I'm going to teach you how to change out your cabin filter in this Lexus CT200. Now if you have a car that's 2000 and up, it'll probably have a cabin filter. What the cabin filter does, it basically acts as an air filter to catch all sorts of pollen and debris that may get into your uh, air conditioning and heating vents in your car. So uh, we're going to take a couple minutes, change it out. And this Lexus is really going to be the exact same sort of process for any Toyota slash Lexus car. So enough about talking about it, let's go ahead and get right to it. So I picked up these cabin filters off of Amazon, there are actually two in here. I think it was like $11 shipped or something like that. The, uh, these will be in the description below, so if you want to order some just go ahead and click on the link. But uh, yeah, they're pretty straightforward, Just looks just like any kind of air filter you may find, like I said, in your air conditioning unit, even at your house. Um, but uh, this is actually going to go right down here. we got to take the glove box apart and uh, replace this filter. So this is technically my wife's car and I really don't spend a lot of time in this glove box, so let's see what we got here. Alright, we got some uh, we got some napkins, those are always good. And uh, we got this ridiculous Lexus, look at this thing. This is just hideous thing taking up all the room we have more and more napkins they're blowing all over the cabin you got a ridiculous amount of papers who knows what that's all about more napkins old vehicle registration we got a notebook actually has some information in there interesting enough that I wrote um, more napkins a couple tire gauges everybody should actually have those and it looks like a lug nut key um, that I think is garbage. I'm not sure. So now that we got the glove box empty, you see there's a tray here, and there is a little button um, that's going to open up a door. So inside this area here, which I hope you can see, is where the air filter is. So we're going to go ahead and remove this little plastic divider thing, which apparently pulls up. <laughs> That's one way to get it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's out. And then we're going to push this little button in. Come on, button. There we go. And voila. Opens up the little window. Okay, so the window is open. You can actually remove that guy. And there is our cabin filter. We got a little button here. And looky there. There it is. So, um, I haven't replaced this in a long time, so it'll be very interesting to see how dirty it is. But I want you to take note of the word up and the arrows. So, the air is blowing from the fan up through that. So, when you put the new one in, you want to make sure that the arrow up is actually up. So, let's pull this guy out and see how bad it is. Quite honestly, it's not bad at all. <laughs> it really doesn't look that bad. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff in there when you get it in the sunlight. There's definitely some crap in there. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was working. That was doing the job. Look at all that junk. So, now we don't have to worry about breathing all that in because we got a nice new one. Right here. Okay, here you can see the side-by-side -side comparison. We got the old one and we got the new one. And I'll tell you what, it does look a lot better. So. Let's go ahead and install this guy. And remember, we see the arrows here. We're going to make sure those are up. So installation is going to be just like removal. Stick that guy in there. Get in there. That may be as far as it goes. And then we're going to put our little plastic guy back on. And again, it's labeled up. So you can't really screw that up. That wasn't supposed to be a play on words, but you know. Come on, you can do it. And close that guy over. Boom, donezo. So that guy's in there nice, tight, everything closed up. We can go ahead and reinstall that door there, or the uh, tray that I ripped out. We can throw out a lot of the crap that's been in this glove box for years. And now when we run our air conditioning or our heat, or if we're just running air through the vents, it'll be nice and clean and it'll be less stress on our air conditioning slash heating uh, unit. All right guys, everything's back together. 
little tray is in there. I didn't break it. It just was in there for a long time. It was really stuck. Really, the whole idea behind that tray is just so if this book fits on it or underneath it. But you know what we're going to do with this book? We're going to stick it under this seat because we never, ever are going in there. And quite frankly, this is a good space that could be used for a lot of other things besides, uh, you know, four years of old registration <laughs> papers and uh, what else is it? whatever else is in here. So that wasn't too hard. This really should be done twice a year. That's probably why two come in the box. Uh, really inexpensive. Like I said, $11 on Amazon. Click the link below and uh, get yourself some new ones. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I have been asked to do more videos about the Lexus CT200 since I did that oil change video uh, about a year ago. So there will be more Lexus CT200 videos coming. I'm just trying to finish my Prelude, and then I can move on to the other cars like the Lexus as well as my Scion XP. So anyway, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Check out the website, ExtremeBLAdrivers.com. Hit us up on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.